Hello, I'm Victor from Science Central. We're here in front of the American Museum of Natural History to see the new exhibit, The Unknown Audubons. Come on in. Hi, I'm Joel Craycraft, uh, curator of Birds American Museum of Natural History, and you're now standing here in the Audubon Gallery, where we're opening a very large exhibit on uh, John James Audubon's Mammals of North America. And within this exhibit, uh, which includes original paintings, original watercolors, and prints, we have a, an environmental story because in 1843, John James Audubon went up the Missouri River to observe and collect the mammals uh, they saw there for this big, large project that he was undertaking on the, on the mammals of North America. Audubon, of course, is known for uh, the birds of North America. He was looking for a new project, and he had already sort of settled on working on the uh, mammals of North America. He obviously had an artist's eye. He observed these animals alive, uh, and then went, perhaps made sketches, and then went home and, and did the finished drawing. He also worked from preserved skins of mammals. He traveled up at the very beginning of the loss of the North America's largest ecosystem, that is the savanna grassland ecosystem that extended from South Texas all the way up into uh, Canada. And uh, along the way, he saw a lot of uh, animals that are no longer there. One of the uh, uh, animals that he observed only once or twice uh, was the uh, swift fox, which is endemic or restricted to that Great Plains uh, ecosystem. And with the loss of the Great Plains and with uh, overhunting, uh, they were really, really reduced in, in number. Uh, the only places that you can see this now are in uh, wildlife refuges and, and reserves. But this is essentially the first field guide of North American mammals. Now the paintings happen to be, you know, three feet tall, but he was really the first to kind of try to document what was going on and what we knew about North American mammals. The Audubon world that we see here is a recreation, in a sense, of life as it once was, and it may sadly never be again. People probably don't understand or don't really appreciate the magnitude of the transformation that took place on this continent over a really, really short period of time and how our biggest ecosystem in North America was essentially wiped clean. We just take the Great Plains for granted being uh, corn and wheat fields, but it wasn't you know, at one time. The prairie ecosystem was hugely diverse. All of them roaming around in this great sort of North American Serengeti, it would have been spectacular, but it's all gone now. We're, we're trying to at least uh, picture what these ecosystems must have been like in the early part uh, of the 19th century. Uh, today, uh, there's only about 1% of this ecosystem left. There's a lot of effort going uh, in by conservationists to try to restore prairie back to the diversity that it, that it once had. And of, of course, they've reintroduced uh, buffalo in various places, and they've reintroduced the swift uh, fox in, in various uh, refuges. So there's, a, there's actually a lot of uh, conservation effort going on to try to bring this uh, prairie ecosystem back in certain areas of uh, America's heartland. For Science Central, this is Victor Lamogo.